Hi again, Hugh Grossman here, the founder and head trading mentor at Day Trade Spy, here with your next steps in learning how to trade spy options. First and foremost, if you've not read my free ebook, take some time to do that soon. For many beginners, the idea of potentially making money trading from a computer, a tablet, or a smartphone is exciting and empowering. It is also compelling, consuming, and can also be dangerous if left uncontrolled. Options trading is risky business. However, so are most things of value. You can lose all your money if you don't know what you're doing. The clear solution, of course, is to learn as much as necessary about the craft. The trading risks will always be there, but understanding how it all works will help you manage those risks and make better decisions. Let's talk about options themselves. At first glance on an options trading platform, you could easily be overwhelmed by the myriad of numbers, codes, and jargon. Well, that puts you at a disadvantage. Just remember to take each part one at a time, breaking down the system piece by piece. The more you learn, the more likely you are to become on par with the pros. Stick with it and take in the lessons. An option is actually a contract related to an equity, an, under, an underlying asset with certain rights and obligations. The holder of an option has the right, but not the obligation to buy a certain stock for a certain price by a certain date. Each option controls 100 underlying shares. Options have names. If you expect the stock to rise, you would purchase a call option. The higher the stock moves, the more valuable your call option would typically become. This is called a bull market. Expect a drop in your stock, you would buy a put option. Put options. These are options that rise in value as the equity loses value. This is called a bear market. Options also have premiums. This is the price you pay for the option and associated right of being able to buy or sell the underlying stock. Options have a strike price. This is the fixed price at which the option holder can buy or sell the underlying stock. At expiration, you either hold worthless out of the money options or valuable in the money options, enabling you to buy the underlying stock. Options also have expiration dates. This is the point at which an option must either be exercised and the underlying equity purchase are sold, or the options become worthless. They expire worthless. Options have other variables, Greeks we call them, affecting their pricing. The delta represents the rate of change between the option and the underlying stock. The theta represents the rate of change of the time decay until expiration. That should give you a good overview of what options are and how they work. Now, take some time to explore your trading platform and watch how spy options change in value with the underlying equity. Now, don't get too bogged down in the terminology that I just gave you. I know there's a lot there, but I'll be back soon with more details. Watch for your next email, and we'll see you soon.